Hello guys, welcome back to another video today. Today is my top uh, surprising moments of this week. Um, possibly um, into the previous week as well. But let's just see how this goes and let's go. So number five, I have gone with Brentford win over uh, la, 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 la. Preston. Um, now I know Deep Down is not an easy place to go to purely because. <coughs> excuse me. Um, obviously, Brighton have been there a few times. Um, so, and I know if we have won a game, I'm not sure even if we have, but. Um, I know it's um, I know it's not an easy place to go to, so uh, that's why I'm a bit surprised that Brentford managed to go and get a three-two victory. So well done to you, Brentford. Um, number four is Arsenal win two-one over Norwich in the cup. Um, now I know a lot of you are going to say, well, I saw a top 10, fair enough, they are a top 10, millions of pounds of players worth in that team that I played against those. I know they didn't have their first team out, but I had the likes of Will cotton out, and yet it took an 18 year old to score two goals for Arsenal, to put them through. Um, so, you know, we basically saved them from going out of competition. Um, that's why I'm a bit surprised that Wilcott or no one like that could do nothing. But that's where it goes sometimes. Um, my number three is West Ham 3 2 victory over Tottenham yet yeah, again in the cup Tottenham going 2-0 uh, West Ham going 2-0 down and coming back to win it 3-2 um, I thought it was all over at 2-0 obviously played them on the Friday at the London Stadium <coughs> I managed to come away with a 3 0. But fair play to West Ham and, you know, getting the victory. Um, as I said, I thought it was all over when they went 2 0 up. Um, I think West Ham fans be a bit frustrated with how they could do that and not come back against Brighton. But that's the way football goes sometimes. I, say, I do say it quite a few times. All these millions of pounds that players have got out. And yet. They can't beat. Like the lower league teams. Like if you look at. Man you sit here. I think it's. 500 mil. Somewhere around that mark. That way had against us. Brighton. And. Only beat us 2 0 down here, but we hold them deadlock for 70 minutes. And then you go look at them like a team like I think they beat Watford 5 0 at Watford. So it proves all these millions of pounds are being spent don't always work. So I think that's proved it a bit there. So now on to my number two. Real Madrid, excuse me, Real Madrid losing 2-1 to Organa, I'm sorry if I mis mispronounced your team name, um, yet again, millions of pounds comes into play, with the likes of Bell, who Real Madrid got, you got Gareth Bell, you got Ronaldo, you got Benzema, you got Mogridge, and all them sort of players, and yet you can't beat a lower league team. I think it's proven a lot now that all, it, all this money that's being spent that you can't, it don't always work. 
but that's made it into my number two spot for this week and my number one spot and yet again involved West Ham is Antonio crossing in, crossing it into the box with 90 seconds remaining of play now West Ham you can't you can't stay out my headlines for one week yet been in it for two weeks running and this time you're in it twice one for good one for bad but anyway this is the bad one now if you haven't seen it I imagine most of you have West Ham I think have a goal kick or keep a catch and he throws it out to Antonio now in football when you when you get you get told if you're in the lead you hold it if you can but Antonio instead of doing that he crossed it into the box he expects about six something West Ham players to be there there's only one in the box um, anyway keep a call it I think it's Hennessy might be Sperone, sorry I can't remember but um, anyway so the keeper throws it out he gets quite far down the other end Zaha takes it all in the box a couple of sticky skills and then puts it in the back of the net and then the game finishes to all Antonio if you watch this I'm saying it from a West Ham point of view now what were you thinking I, I couldn't even get I'm a Brighton fan I couldn't even get my head around that so I don't know what it feels like for you West Ham fans but anyway that's my five this week Five. <laughs> um, anyway guys you know what to do if you're new to my channel subscribe for more thanks for watching and ciao for now